So now let's talk a little bit how call by value works with arrays. Because using an array variable such as here n, which is a, an array of 10 integers, as an argument to a function like here mean, is actually not really passed call by value. Instead, what you will get is you get some references, which is, as it turns out, a pointer to memory. And we will learn about this in the pointer lecture. So in fact, when you look at the activation record here for the mean function, you would see here this kind of variable n, which is this array. But the values of this array is not stored here on this same stack frame, but instead it is somewhere in memory and we have this kind of indirection using a pointer. Okay, if you want to store a use call by values with an array and pass it on, you need to store it as a struct. So here we see the example. I create here a new structure, numbers t, in which I create an array consisting of 10 integer values. And now in my compute mean function, I use this structure type numbers as a variable. Okay, so now the picture will really look like as we expect. Um, in our activation record, we indeed have basically the 10 values, the 10 integers for this numbers inside our activation record. So to wrap up, the stack is a growing segment on the virtual memory. It is an abstract data type that supports push and pop operation, operations in general. So the stack is a data structure, but here we mean our stack as part of the memory. The compiler assigns variables to the memory locations and it uses a stack pointer relative to the activation record of a function. And any time you do a function call, you store information on the stack one is the instruction pointer of the calling memory location, which is the return address. So once you complete the function call, you want to continue seamlessly with the code of the caller. Then you have to pass on the arguments, which are pretty much treated like um, local um, variables. Also, you need to store space for the return value, and that is then called the function activation record or a stack frame. So today we don't have so many slides. The reason is that it was, I'd say, rather complicated topic. And please spend a little bit of time to understand those concepts further. And if you haven't done so, do this little task here. And if you have any questions, ask us. Wish you a great week.